Hey guys, Tully Kami here. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a tutorial about encrypting passwords. So I finally decided to do that today. So now why are we gonna encrypt passwords? So without encryption, if your database is compromised, any password that is in there could easily be stolen. So how exactly are we gonna encrypt our data? Well, we're gonna use a mechanism called password hashing. And what that does is it applies an algorithm to the password before it's stored in the database. And this makes it implausible for a hacker to gain access to the passwords. Notice I said implausible and not impossible. So that's because by comparing the output of the hashing algorithm to the input password, it's actually possible to be able to predict an output from an input. But the more computationally expensive the hashing algorithm, the longer it takes to determine its output. Now PHP 5.5 provides a password hashing API that handles this in a secure manner. However, I'm not going to be able to show you guys this with triple zero web hosts because unfortunately they are only using PHP version 5.2. Don't worry guys, I'm still going to go through this with you to show you how it works and you can implement this yourself on your server. Keep in mind, you can also use a library which will allow you to use this code with PHP 5.3 or greater and I'm going to link that to you guys in the description. So let's go through the PHP code and see the changes I've made to it. We'll start with the register.php. So when a user registered, ignore these functions for now, it would first check if the username is available. Oh also I've implemented um, checking if a username is available so two people don't have the same username. So the first thing it does is it calls the username available function which is right here and what that does is it selects a user from the database where the username is equal to the username that has been inputted and basically if the user already exists it would return false because the count would be greater than one and if the user doesn't already exist it would return true. So after it checks if the username is available, it would register the user. Now this is the important part, so listen carefully. So the first thing we need to do is actually create the password hash and it's simple to do. All you have to do is just call password underscore hash and then give it the password as the parameter and then password default. This basically determines what algorithm the password hash would use and the password default uses a quite secure algorithm and that would make this variable right here holds the hashed password. And now the next thing we need to do, just like before, is we need to insert that into the database. So as you can see right here, we're inserting the password hash. And that's basically it with the register.php. Notice I'm using require.php and um, password.php right here. This is the library version for PHP 5.3 or greater, and this is the link right here which I'll provide to, to you in the description. As you can see all you guys need to do is just copy this and call that password.php. Next I'll go through the login with you guys. So as you can see when a user logs in we're going to select a user from the user database where the username is equal to the username the user has given and now here is the most important part. So calling password verify compares the password which the user has entered to the hashed password in the database which will be call password. This will hold the, the password in the database and password verify actually checks if the password is the same as the hashed password before it was hashed. So this just basically checks if the user has entered the right password and if they have then obviously you make success, success equal to true and then return the name and return the age. Oh, just notice something. It should be call name because we've named that um, call name there, which stands for column name, and it should return the column age. So now just don't forget to upload this into your server. So the login.php, the register.php, and the password.php, and run that, and it should all work, and your password should be encrypted. Thanks for following this tutorial, guys. You can find the login.php and register.php links in the description below. And yeah, that's it. If you guys have any problems, don't forget you can comment on this YouTube channel or you can post on my Facebook. Thanks for listening, guys.